morning, everyone. My name is Veena and I am one of the implementation and training specialists here at EduSpot. In today's webinar, I'm going to focus on clubs. So there's a couple of different ways that you can use a system for clubs. So if you have got external clubs which are charged termly or half termly, for example, like a football club or a netball club, and the child will be charged even if they don't attend, then normally we would suggest that you set this up as a one-off payment, like you would do for a trip or a residential using the payments tab. But today's training will be about the club register. And the club register is mainly for those kind of clubs where you're charging per session. Things like breakfast club, after school club, if you've got a wraparound care, where the daily sessions and attendance are shown on the register, whether there's a charge or not. Now the initial setup of the club itself, adding the children in, the cost of the club, will need to be set up by somebody in our support team or training team. So if you don't already use this service and you do want something setting up, get in contact with us and we can set that up for you. Now, I'm going to show you first of all how to create a club register. So how to create the payment. So all you do is go to the club register and in the first drop down where it's got after school club, you should see all the registers that have been set up for you. So we'll leave it on after school club. You choose the date that you want to set up the week for. So if it's going to be in September, just change the date to the week in September. Click OK when the alert comes up. Change your filter to all and it will bring up the children that are in that register. If you do need to block out any days because it's um, a holiday or an inset day, you can use the drop downs where it's got M for Monday, T for Tuesday to block out any days that you don't want to obviously mark any sessions in yourself or you don't want parents to book online. And then once you have done that, all you do is click on save in the bottom right hand corner. And then by saving a blank register, this is you setting up a payment for that week, obviously in advance. Now, if you do want to, you can set up as many weeks in advance for the whole term, you know, or just for the month if you want to, especially if you're doing pre-bookings and you would like parents to have that control and want them to choose in advance the sessions that they would like their child to attend. I don't advise setting up more than a term in advance, as firstly, the payment screen will get quite busy, but also if a new child starts midway through the term, then you will need to add this new child into every single week that you've already set up. So it's up to you whether you want to obviously do it week by week or whether you want to do it in advance, but just bear that in mind that you will need to add in any new children into the weeks that you've already set up. So now that I've set up this week and I've saved that, I'm just gonna refresh the screen by clicking on F5 on the keyboard. On this screen, you should see the payment that's been set up. So if you change the payment type to Club Extended Services, if you can't see it, you might need to change your academic year to all as well, because it does kind of default to the academic that you're on. And then you should see the week that you've created. Now, within this payment, you can make some changes. Obviously, if you want to adjust the cost, any kind of settings, add in any new children, remove any children, etc., which I'll go through now with you. So all you do is double click into the payment. If you want to manually switch on the payment, you've got the option here in the first green bar on the right hand side and you just switch it on. Your parents have got up until midnight the day before if you are doing pre-bookings to make any bookings themselves. So obviously if you do have your own cutoff time, you can just switch the payment offline whenever you want to. To change the cost of the club, you've got configure durations and this will show you the different costs that you've obviously set up. So if you need to increase the number of sessions you've got, you just change the durations per day and you can have a maximum of 10. And obviously if you want to decrease it, just change it down to however many you want. You can also change the amounts if you want to and the description as well, and then you just save it. In the settings option, again, this is something that we'll do for you on the call itself when we do the training session. But if you want to make any changes, if you want to limit your places, you can tick the box and enter in how many places you've got available so it works on a first come first serve. You can request parent to consent if you want to. And then you've got online session booking and enable reservation. So if you are wanting to do pre-bookings, you will need to switch on the option which has got online session booking. And this basically means that when your parents do book a session, they will need to pay for that session at the same time. So they can't book a session without paying for it. The alternative option is you can switch on the enable reservations with the online session booking. And this basically means that your parents can book a session, but they don't have to pay for it straight away. So they can pay for it later if they want to. They're just reserving a space. 
So that's how you switch that on. So if you want to make any changes in there, you do that through the payment itself and then you just save it. Obviously come September, you're going to have new children that are going to start. Maybe your year six are going to leave. So you need to make sure that in your registry, you've got the correct children that you want in there. So what you'll need to do is in this payment, go into manage students. And the children on the left hand side on that screen are not in the payment and the ones on the right hand side are in the payment. So they're on the register, the ones on the right hand side. So if you want to remove anybody from the register, just remove individually. Or if it's an entire year group, just filter for the year group and then remove everybody if you want to. Okay. To add anybody in, it's just add individually if you want to. And again, just filter for the year group if you want to add in a whole year group as well. I think they're all in there. Just add them in. And then once they've moved across to the right hand side, it is just saving that same window on the left hand side over here. So you will need to do that first before you'll see your children on the register. If you don't do that, they won't appear on the register. You have also got the text email parents option in the bottom left hand corner of the window. So when you are ready to tell your parents that they can go online and start booking, you can just send them a message. It is just here, text email. You can choose the template you want to use, edit the message if you want to, and then just click on send messages. So that's how you create a register week and also make any changes to the payment itself for that week. I'm now going to show you how to actually mark sessions into the register. So we're going to go back to the club register. Make sure that you're on the correct register and you're on the correct week that you want to mark the sessions for. We'll just go to the September week. And then change your filter to all. Now, if you are doing pre-bookings, when parents have booked online, when you come onto the register, it will already show you the sessions that have been booked online. So you won't need to do anything with those bookings. But if somebody was unable to book online because they've passed the cutoff time or it's on the day itself, they will contact yourself and you can mark a session in for them if you want to do that. And all you do is find the child and select the drop down next to the child, depending on what, what day they want to attend and select the cost for them. And then once you've done that, you just save the register. If a parent did book a session online, let's just say you've got four or five different sessions and this parent has booked the eight pound full session, but actually the child only say for the half session, you can just change it to the half session for them. And then again, just save it. If the parent paid in advance for that session and they paid more, then basically that money will just sit in credit once you've made that change. And then you'll see that in the far right hand column where it's got paid in advance as a credit, which they can then use for a future session. If they went for a session which was a cheaper cost, but actually they should have paid more, it will sit in the arrears column. As long as that payment is online, they can go back online and pay for it afterwards, or you can take the money in the office using the cashier tab. So once all the sessions have been marked in, you can just click on this little tick box where it's got show bookings only. And then it just shows you the ones that have booked a session. Everybody else will disappear from your register. And then if you want to, you can print the, uh, the register out, but it will print it off exactly how you see it for the week, um, or you can export it into Excel. So that's if you obviously, if you're doing pre-bookings, children that have booked a session online, they'll already be on the register and you're just gonna manage any ad hoc ones. Now, if you're completely controlling the club sessions yourself in the school, it is the same thing. You just mark in the sessions, let me just take that tick off yourself, whatever sessions you're going to be charging that parent for, and then just save it. If you have the same children attending the same sessions every single week, there is a copy bookings feature in the bottom right hand corner, which you can use. And then obviously anyone that turns up ad hoc, you can then manage them um, yourselves individually as and when they come. So to use a copy bookings feature, what you'll need to do is you'll mark the sessions into the first week and then you'll create the second week. So I'm just going to change the date to the 9th of September. Click OK when the alert comes up and then just click on save in the bottom right hand corner. So you have to save the blank register first. And then once you have done that, you can click on the copy bookings option 
it will show you the source of the previous register or whichever registers that you've previously created. You choose the register that you want to obviously copy the information from and then click OK. And when you do that, the information should now be on the new register. And then again, just save it. So that's all it is for the copy bookings feature. Again, keep an eye on these columns on the right hand side. Obviously, if they have paid in advance, it will show you how much credit they've got on the right hand side. And as and when you start recording these sessions in, the credit should start reducing down. And if they haven't, they'll be in arrears and then you can start chasing them. Again, you can tick this show bookings only option and that will remove everybody um, except for the ones that have booked online or in the school. And then if you want to, you can export it or print it off as well if you want to. But like I said, it, when you print it off, it is printing it off as a full register, exactly how you see it on your screen. And then you can look in the bottom left hand corner as well to show you obviously your settings. So the limit you've set per day and also how many sessions have been taken on each day. So that's all it is to mark a session in to mark in payments in the office. So if somebody pays by cash or check, it works in the same way as, you know, you taking money in for dinners, trips, etc. All you do is go to the cashier tab and then find the child that you want to mark the payments against. And then on the left hand side, you'll see all the different payments that the, the child has been added into. And if you want to then mark a payment against after school club, just make sure you've got the after school club selected on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, you can see if they owe any money and then um, a drop down where it's got action. And from that action drop down, these are all the different ways that you can accept money in the school office if you want to. Now, if you are a school that accepts childcare vouchers, then the childcare vouchers come directly to you in the school in your bank account. So when you do receive those funds, you will need to show it on the system that you've had their vouchers. And especially if you are doing pre bookings, the vouchers will need to be available before your parents can book online. If you have selected the option to book and pay at the same time. And if not, if you're not doing pre bookings, you can add the vouchers on whenever you want to. And then obviously when you mark the sessions in, it will just start reducing down from the vouchers. If somebody has got some credit available, it will show you over here how much credit they've got available and you can click on the pay by credit option to move credit around. So if they've got credit from something else and you want to use it for after school club, you can move it around if you want to. But before you do that, it really depends on how many bank accounts you've got. So if you have got more than one and everything goes to different bank accounts, I don't advise it unless you've got access to those accounts because you will then need to physically move the money around between those accounts. Otherwise, your accounts won't balance. But if they did have club credit, then it will automatically start reducing down. You won't need to obviously manage that credit yourself. So that's how you mark the payments through the cashier tab. We'll have a look at some of the reports in the report section. And we're just gonna scroll down to club arrears. So anybody that has got any arrears, they will come up on this report over here. And this is the arrears for the whole academic year. So use your filters. If you are using the system or you have been using the system for more than you know a few months, change your academic year due date to all because you might have arrears on there from previous academic years or just previous years. And then if there is anybody on this list that you don't want to chase, you can untip them because they might have told you why they can't pay you. And then when you are ready to chase these children, you just click on chase over to in the bottom left and then you send them reminders. Now the hash description and the hash amount that will automatically get converted by the system for you to their individual amounts and the description will show whether it's for after school club or whatever the payment is for. So yeah, so that's how you send your reminders. Just click on the back button. You have got a club weekly report there. So if you do need to print off who's attending Monday session, for example, this is a good one to go into. From this club's drop down, you can select which club it is that you want to print off. Let's just say it's this one, for example, that we did, we did the 2nd of September. And then you can see what sessions have been marked in for each day. But if you just want to see Monday sessions, you just um, change the day drop down to Monday. And again, all it's showing you is how many sessions there are on that day. But if you do want to, you can tick the little tick box where it's got show breakdown by student, and that will show you the children that should be attending that session. 
and whether it's a full session or half session. So if you just want to see the first session, you can click on this drop down over here and just see everyone that's on the full session or half session. Or if you want to see all of them, just leave it on all. And then again with this, you might want to print it off or export it into Excel and then give it to the club staff if, if they need access to this. So they're the main two reports that I wanted to go through with you in the report section. We're going to move on to the admin section. Now in the admin section, you've got parent options. If you are doing top up and you're not doing pre-bookings, you might want to change your default club top up amount over here. And it doesn't really matter what amount you put in here because if your parents do want to pay less than that amount, they can do that. And if they want to pay more than that, that amount, they can do that as well. But the default amount just kind of just shows them what you're kind of expecting from them. So if you do want to change that figure, do it there and then just save it in the bottom left hand corner. Just gonna click on back. And then you've got school options. In this section, the only thing that you really need to do is over here, you've got dinners and club payment options. So set your club references automatically. Normally we'll do this for you when we're doing a training session with you. But if it's not been selected, you can tick it over here. And when you create your week, it will add in the reference as your week commencing. So definitely if you haven't got that set up, tick that box there and then it will just make it easier for you when you're looking for your weeks. And then you can also change your default due date for your club payments. So when they pass that date, they automatically go into arrears. So if you want to change that, that's where that happens as well. So click on the back button. Also for clubs, you might have groups that you want to set up. So you might have children that always come to breakfast club or after school club, and you just want to set up those children in your registers. Or you might want it available to everybody, but just have a group just so you can filter it just for that one group. So to set up a group, you just go to groups, click on add in the bottom right hand corner, name the group, whatever you want to call it, breakfast club, for example, and then select the children that you want to add into that group just by clicking on the add links next to their names. You can filter if you want to just for one year group or form and then add them in and then save it. Obviously, these groups are set up by yourselves manually. So as and when children come and leave the school, they will also need to be manually edited by yourselves as well. And then just save. And then that's your, your group set up as well. So they're the main things for clubs that I wanted to go through with you. If you have got any more questions, you can get in contact with our support team. And there are user guides that you've got access to as well on your own um, school money accounts. So I will be ending the webinar now, but thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Take care.